Welcome. Hello. Welcome to the Workshop Accelerator. Welcome to the Workshop Accelerator. Uh, please put the word money in the chat if you can hear me clear. Welcome to the space. Today we're talking a little bit about Kajabi Foundations and offer creation as we kick off our experience together. But just go on and put the word money in the chat uh, so that I can know that you are here with me in the here and now. Um, and we will get into this amazing conversation about how to create a paid workshop on one of my favorite platforms, which is Kajabi. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, I appreciate. If you're watching this in the replay, I appreciate you as well. And I'm really looking forward to giving you all some overall strategies on how you can take your workshop to the next level. Today's workshop is uh, going to be 60 minutes. So we'll have that amount of time together, but do me a favor. If any questions come up as we are in the conversation, you can feel free to put that into the chat and I will try to answer them today. If not, uh, we will have some more time together because this is workshop one of a four week series uh, that I'm really looking forward to. The reason I'm looking forward to this is this is one of the mechanisms within my digital product business that not only has brought in the most money, but has made the most impact in the communities that I love and that I serve. So let's get into the conversation today. This is workshop one, Kajabi Foundations and Offer Creation. So we will talk a little bit today about Kajabi in particular and how to utilize it. I'm just gonna do a basic walkthrough. So it won't be anything that is I don't put it too uh, technical. We'll really just be talking about why this platform is a platform that we're choosing for today. So do me a favor. I, I always like to start off workshops like this with intention and affirmations. So our affirmation for today is I make money with ease. So say that to yourself three times or put it in the chat or do a mixture of both. Uh, but I'll say it to us three times. I make money with ease. I make money with ease. I make money with ease. And the reason that we're starting off with this affirmation is that this strategy is really simple. And often what happens is that people make it complicated. And if we make this strategy complicated, it becomes very uneaseful. So I want us to already start off today knowing that this is going to be an easeful process and an easeful strategy for our business. So our affirmation for today is I make money with ease. And I see we got some folks in the chat. Welcome to the space, Jackson. Glad you could make it. Welcome to the space, delightful clinician. And Olu, welcome to the space, fam. Glad you can make it as well. That we're starting with today is the key foundations and offer creation. So we are going to be talking about Kajabi foundations and offer creation. We'll talk a little bit about your pricing and also some masterclass slash workshop ideas that you can come up with. Next Thursday, next Friday, November 8th, we're going to be talking about building your workshop funnel in Kajabi. So what this essentially is, is now that you understand what you want, your workshop title, how you're going to price it, and you validate it with your audience, which we'll do today. We wanted to now get into a conversation about setting it up in Kajabi so that it's functional. So we'll do everything from creating your landing page slash your checkout page to also creating the backend workflows so that everything is automated and it makes it easier for your customer experience. What's so important about these workshops is that people not only get the information that they need, but that they also are have a great customer process because if they have a great process through, let's say they get their first email as soon as they sign up with you, they get some show up emails like you all got today to show up. What happens is, is that people trust you because when you drop a course or a larger product, they're like, I know that Olu is going to take care of me. I know that Jackson's going to take care of me. So we'll work on that uh, November 8th. And then November 15th, we're going to work on driving traffic to your workshop funnel which means how do you get people from your social media or from your email list or from a networking event actually to the workshop paying and showing up on time and showing up as excited as you all are to be here today. 
And then our last week, which is November 22nd, we're really going to focus on delivering and scaling your workshop. So now that you've got it set up, how do you deliver it? What platform do you use to be able to give the information? But I, how do you scale it? And what I mean by scaling is now that you've created and you've done it live, how do you put it in replay so that people can continue to purchase a workshop from you? So that's what we'll talk about that week. Today's workshop is free. So this is live on YouTube, public. Everyone has access to this. I've shared it on as many platforms as possible. I also sent it out to my email list because I wanted you all to get a piece of this so that you can understand what we're doing and decide if you want to continue. If you do want to continue, the best thing for you to do in order to get access to the next three workshops is you have to sign up for a trial period of Kajabi under my referral link. And I'll put the link to that up in a moment. But the reason that's important is I don't want people here who are just absorbing information. I want people who are going to implement. And the way that you will implement is if you sign up for Kajabi and you actually have the software and you're able to use it. So luckily for right now, Kajabi's doing something really special and their actual product is 50% off, right? Right now, 50% off for you to get started. So what I'll do is I'll put this link up so that you all can decide if you want to do that. Um, if you go to speakingforprofit.com slash Kajabi best deal, it's going to be a link to my referral link to sign you up for uh, Kajabi 50% off. Their lowest plan right now is $69, which means that you'll pay about $34.50 a month to have this all in one platform. And next, I'm going to show you some of the things that Kajabi actually has within it so that you can decide if that is a tool that you want to use in your business. I've used it the last four years and I love it, but I want you to love it just as much. So if you go to speakingforprofit.com, Kajabi Best Deal, this will sign you up so that you receive the rest of the workshops. Today is just workshop number one, but if you want to make sure that you go through the whole workshop series, you will need to sign up on my referral link. And then it's going to actually send you an email so that you're in my funnel and signed up for the rest of the workshops. So please go check that out. So now that we've talked a little bit about logistics and you know what you're here for today and what you'll get the next four weeks, I do want to walk you through and show you on the back end a little bit of what Kajabi has going on, right? And why this is such an amazing platform and why we're deciding to use it for this workshop. If you are picking up what I'm putting down and you're still here in the space, go on and put the word love into the chat, put the word love into the chat, because uh, I love talking about things like this. One of my main goals as a business owner is to be able to support people like you in building financial freedom in your life. And I know that if you're already speaking, you're already consulting, you're already considered a thought partner or an influencer in your community, having a digital product is something that can take you to the next level. But what happens often to most of us is we try to create an online course, which takes forever. And this is a more simple model because we're just creating one workshop, one time, and we're profiting from it over and over again. So when you sign up for Kajabi, you're going to be first taken to a dashboard. Right now, you'll see my dashboard, and this is actually my partner funnel. So this shows how many people are under my affiliates for Kajabi right now. Um, and we're building that up as many of you sign up today. But for me, I don't want to just be an affiliate for Kajabi. I want to also be an educator and a person that can support you in using Kajabi. Because just because I give you an affiliate link and you sign up, I get a kickback. If you sign someone up to your Kajabi affiliate link, you'll get a kickback from the company as well. But I don't want just the money. I want to actually help you implement and make change in the world. So just because you sign up and you don't actually create the workshop or the ebook or the digital product that you're planning to create, that doesn't do anything for me and you. So that's why I've decided if folks sign up for my affiliate link, they get access to this four week workshop because I think that that's important. But let's walk through Kajabi's actual features. We're not going to spend a lot of time on this because you will have time to play with this once you sign up. So if you go on this left-hand side under products, here are a list of all the products that you can create on this platform. And remember, when you sign up for my link today, you can sign up for a link that will give you 50% off for the next year. So if you sign up for their lowest plan, which is 
$69. That's thirty four fifty. Really amazing deal, y'all. When I first signed up for this, it was $100 a month, right? So you are getting an amazing deal. But some of the products that you can create on Kajabi include courses, right? Coaching products, courses. We're going to use courses during our time, during these four weeks, because when you evergreen your masterclass, it will be under a course function. But you can create courses. If you're an online coach and you have one-on-one clients or even group coaching, you can hold that program on here. They also have a community aspect. The community aspect, when I first got started with Kajabi, it wasn't where I wanted it to be, but now it is amazing. Some folks are here from my my community speaking for profit. We might be moving back to Kajabi sometime next year because it's just so much better. They also have podcasts. So let's say you wanted to create a podcast and you wanted it to be a paid podcast, similar to Patreon. But this gives you an opportunity to literally cut out the middleman so that you get all of the profit. You can create a paid podcast or a free one. You can also create newsletters on here as a product. Or if you just wanted to have downloads, you could have that as well. It also gives you the ability to have a website if you want to host your website here. I know many of you already have websites for your business and you're probably paying somewhere between $20 and $30 a month just for your website. If you wanted to create your own branded app, you can do that within the platform. This is an additional cost, but it is an ability to do. And what's great about the branded apps is they actually will show up on Android and Apple Store as your own custom app that people can download. You could do your marketing here, which we will do during this four-week series to be able to email your clients, your customers, to build an email list, to send out newsletters or to send out information. And then you have your contact section. So you can hold all the folks that are on your email list. They also have some great analytics and then they have a creator studio. What I really like about the creator studio is you have the ability to use AI, artificial intelligence. So let's say today, this video, I uploaded it to the creator studio. I can create shorts. I can create um, different aspects that I can share out to take my long form and utilize it and repurpose it on other platforms. So this is all within Kajabi, all within Kajabi. Now, I know some of you are using Thinktific. Some of you are using Teachable. And understand, you've gotten comfortable with those platforms. But if you're looking to lower costs and have an all-in-one platform, that's probably going to cover most of the things in your online business. This is probably going to be the best thing for you. It's been the best thing for me. So... If you're interested in getting started, please go on and sign up. But I wanted to do a quick walkthrough just so you all could see the foundations and the products and the availability that's here on Kajabi before we get into the workshop today. We will primarily be using this to set up our workshops. So if you're using another platform, you'll have to go in and kind of figure out some of those different features. But to be honest with you, most of the platforms are very similar and you should be able to utilize this to make, you know, move your business forward. All right, great. So we got into that. Let me see if there's any questions in the chat. Let's see. All right. I don't see any questions. If you have any questions about it, please let me know. But let's get into the workshop. So let me get back to my slides. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about pricing. I think that that is the next important thing for us to consider. Because that's the question I usually get first. And then we'll get into creating the actual workshop topic. If you all have created a workshop before, put the word workshop in the chat. I just want to see who's here who's actually created a paid online workshop before. So possible outcomes. This is you just thinking about the money side of your actual paid workshop. I would say... For many of you that have signed up for this and I've seen some of your stuff on the back end, I wouldn't go lower than 97, maybe $57 a seat. But for today's example, we're going to talk about it as though it's $97. And the reason I say this, y'all, is one, you want to make profit and two, you're building a brand. Your brand pricing is connected to the branding itself. So if you're trying to build a profitable brand and you have $27, $47, $19 products, it's not really going to have 
customers that come to you that are ready to pay attention and really ready to implement your frameworks. So it's important that you really think about pricing in that way. The other thing is it's hard to scale something that's that low if you don't have a large audience. With this, if you charge $97 and let's say 50 new prospects come into your audience, 50 people raise their hand or sign up for the email list, all of them aren't going to be the people who pay. They might just be on your email list waiting for the next thing. This might not be a good time for them. So out of those 50 people, let's say that 10 people sign up and pay $97. That's $970 that you can make from one front end workshop one front end workshop just by doing it the first time live, which to me is pretty amazing, especially if this is an additional source of income. Side gig, great. But what we're doing here is we're creating the workshop and then we're going to resell it maybe later on that quarter or later on that year. And let's say you resell it to the same list or maybe you have more people on your email list now and you sell it to 10 more people, right? Now you've made nine, $1,900, right? Compared to that 970 from one workshop. And that's what we want to do. We want to do that over and over again within our business. Now I've seen some clients that I work with do this four times a year. They'll create four different workshops, sell them once on the front end, sell them once on the back end, right? So maybe they're making nine, $1,900 a couple of times a month, every quarter, and then at the end of the year, you could package this up as a Black Friday deal and create a bundle. This is how far that this can go just by putting your knowledge into this. And often that bundle, because you've had your framework three to four times, can then eventually be the framework that you use for your online course. But what are we doing the whole time that we're doing this? We're building our audience and we're also building people within our audience that have purchased from us. And buyer psychology says that once someone purchases from you once, they'll be willing to do it again and again. So that's why we want to put that in front of our audience often. Now, what you don't want to do is give, always be selling, but never be giving value. And we'll talk about that later on within the workshop series about your promotional cycle and what's important. You want to give value but you also want to train your audience to buy. It's super important. So this is what you can make from one masterclass, one workshop. And we'll be using masterclass workshop like tomato to model here in this space because I call my paid workshops masterclasses. You might call them workshops. You might call them incubators. You might call them experiences, whatever you want to name it. It's a 90 minute block for you to sell your information and for you to share your framework and people pay to be in those seats. That's all that you need to remember. So that's the pricing structure. I would prefer if you're here with me, working with me for the next four weeks, that you're building out a masterclass or a workshop that's $97. If you can agree that your seats are going to be $97, put the word 97 in the chat. If you can agree, if it's higher than 97, that's great too. Put how much you're planning to charge in the chat. And then we're going to move into how to come up with our topics. Okay, so let's get into the topic side of it. And if you already have topics that you're thinking about, put the word, put the topic that you're thinking about in the chat. I would love to see that. If y'all watching this in a replay, please still put it in the chat, still interact, because I will go back and my team will go back and we'll check this out. And this will help us as we create the next workshop for y'all. So again, our affirmation today, I make money with these. I always want to keep that in there as we're flowing to this, keep, keep an abundant energy. And the reason I really put this here in the slide is oftentimes when we start talking about money, people start feeling very uncomfortable. And I want you to know that we're here for easeful abundance. It's going to be okay. I'm going to teach you the steps. You got this. And we are, we are here together. So choosing your masterclass or workshop topic. This is a frame that I want you to think about anytime you are coming up with a masterclass or a workshop, anytime, whether you are watching this currently live or you're watching this in a few months from now in the replay, you've got to think 
about these things as you come up with a topic. And once you think about your topic idea, the second step to this is validating the topic. If you don't come up with one of these type of ideas for your masterclass or validate it, you'll end up creating something that people might not buy. It's important that people raise their hand so that you can have an amazing promotional cycle. So the number one way to choose your topic is you can think about the step one problem that you're supporting your particular ideal client avatar with. What is number one step that people need to take in their business or in their life in order to get to the outcome that you provide as a business owner? Let's talk about a few examples, right? We're talking about step one problems. For example, I'm a public speaking coach. In order for people to really be okay with not just becoming more comfortable on stage, but monetizing their expertise as a public speaker, they need to craft a signature talk. So one of the master classes that I've done is how to craft your signature talk. That's step one. If people don't have a talk, it's going to be really hard for them to believe that is something that they can monetize. To be honest with you, they're like, I don't even have this. How can I make money from it? So that would be a step one. But maybe for you, you have a four step, a three step, a framework where people need to cre- actually get this step done before they can really get traction. So that's one idea on how you can come up with a topic. What is the first step that folks need to take? And maybe some of you have already done this. You might already have some online courses in the back end of your life that you've created that haven't sold well. In those online courses, what's the first module? What's the very first step that your audience must take? So that's one idea. The second way to come up with your workshop idea is to think about the time saver. Is there a way that you can help your audience save time? And this, sometimes people think about time saving only with money-making products, but I want us to think beyond that because some of you are here and you have some really amazing ideas that have nothing to do with people making money. It has to do with them saving time and experiencing more in their life. For example, I used to have a colleague who had a business where she helped physicians communicate better with their partners because there is a high level of divorce when it comes to physicians and them being married. Oftentimes they're working long hours, they're not really home, so they end up getting a divorce. And for those people, learning how to communicate better with their partner was going to save them a lot of time from having to go and get a lawyer and get a divorce and spend money and destroy their families, right? So you might have something that could save people time and give them a little bit of that back and people value that. So think about a time-saving idea. And then the last one is a quick win. What is a quick win that you can support your audience with getting in 90 minutes to two hours. Maybe it's an implementation workshop. Maybe it's a workshop, not just where they come and learn ideas, but they actually implement the ideas so they're able to get it done. One of the things that business owners really struggle with is creating LLCs. So I remember I went to this workshop and it was actually free that the Small Business Association was doing. And they literally were walking you through on the screen on how you can get your EIN number from the IRS. Literally walking you through screen by screen on how to do it. And people got that done in that workshop. That's a quick win. Now it's created. You don't have to think about it anymore. So that could be your workshop idea. But when you're creating these ideas, I want you to make sure that it's framed within one of these three categories. It's either going to help people solve their step one problem time saver, or it's going to give them a quick win. It needs to be that. And maybe it's a mixture of all. It could be, but it needs to at least be one. So do me a favor. If you've got some workshop or masterclass ideas that you've been thinking about, go on and put them in the chat for me, but also for other folks to see so that they can come up with ideas as well. And don't be one of those people that think you can't share your ideas with the group because someone's going to take it. Because I want you to know that These masterclasses are unique because you are the storyteller. You are the facilitator. You're the one that is going to be sharing your gems 
and you're going to be sharing your personality and you're going to be being authentic. So people are going to want it from you. Even if someone has the same idea that I have today, there's plenty of people teaching you how to create a paid masterclass, but you all are here today for me because you enjoy the way that I facilitate space. So don't be afraid to share your ideas with the world, share value and over deliver to all your clients and you will be fine. But yeah, what are some of your workshop masterclass ideas? All right, we've got Jackson here. How to fail successfully teaching a masterclass aimed at teachers and coaches to use my framework in their classrooms, classes with students and clients. I love that idea. Helping my audience come up with complimentary side hustles based on the work they already do. Okay, I like that. I like that. I love that side hustle um, mentality. These are great ideas, y'all. So continue to think about what you want your idea to be. And then let's talk a little bit about how to validate it. Validating the idea is important. And some of you have seen this already if you are my clients, because we did this in our workshop. So hopefully you're ahead of the game so that next week when we meet together and we put together the funnel, you've already got this stuff together. But I want you to think about the actual validation. And this can happen in a few different ways. This is a post that I did uh, actually a few years ago, y'all, to be honest with you. I haven't done this masterclass live in probably a year or two. But I put out to my audience on Facebook, I said, I'm thinking about creating a masterclass to help you craft a signature talk and make $10,000 from speaking in 30 days. $97 who's in, right? You can do this same thing. Thinking about creating a masterclass on failure for teachers um, who are in classrooms to support them with engaging their classroom. $97. Who wants to be a part of this? Simple, put it out there. Now, what I would suggest is you put it on a platform that you're actually active on and that you have the ideal audience in. And you know that because you know who's on your Instagram, you know who's on your threads, you know who's on your LinkedIn, but put it on all those platforms where people are active, gather the information and see who raises their hand. The other way that you could do this, some of you might be here and you might have various topics that you're thinking about teaching. That is definitely possible. Maybe you think you're thinking about teaching, <laughs> you know, like net, how to knit and also how to make money, <laughs> right? Maybe you're thinking about how to knit and mental health practices. And you're kind of like, I don't know what I should teach. So if you don't know what you should teach and you want to get some more ideas from your audience, you could tell your audience, I'm thinking about creating a workshop, a paid workshop to share with you all uh, some of my expertise. What would you want to learn from me? And then just let them fill it out and give you some ideas. The biggest thing is you validating it. So once you get those ideas, you still want to do a validation post based off of the one that you decide to go with. Or you could do a poll. Maybe you've got three or four ideas that you know already. I'm thinking about creating a paid masterclass. Which one of these classes do you think would benefit you? I actually did this recently in my, pay, in my um, free community, the Speaking for Profit Circle. I said, y'all, it's the end of the year. I'm putting together some masterclasses. Which ones would you all want to learn more? And now when I create my next paid masterclass, which I'm going to be creating with you all these next four weeks as we do it together, I have a list of people who've raised their hand. What's great about this method, y'all, we create something that our audience wants, but look at this post. Yeah, from this post, it was like 35 comments, right? That means that I have those people to follow up with to see if they're interested once I have the checkout page created for the workshop. So this also gives you an audience to follow up with for paid tickets. Great strategy. You can use social media. Some of you are probably thinking, I don't really do social media. We'll use that group chat that you're a part of. If you already got an email list, use that as well. If you go to consistent networking events that are in person, ask people at the networking events. You've known me for a while. What would you, what would be a great paid workshop idea? You want this to be beyond you because if you're just creating a masterclass because you like it, that doesn't mean people will buy it. It's just the truth. You might like it. You might love the topic, but does your audience like it? And in order for it to be successful and paid, we need our audience to like it as well. So step two, first, we're going to create our topic. Second, we need to create our validation post. That could be this post, a poll. 
however you want to do it, but you must validate it with an audience before you create it. If you get crickets and people don't raise their hands, I would still create the masterclass. I would just know that I might not get as much participation. But if you raise your hand and you get crickets and you want to try another idea, try the other idea. Like, you know what? No one raised their hand when I was talking about failure. Let me see if I talk about another topic. Will they raise their hand? Or maybe let me see if I reframe the topic. Instead of talking about failure, can I talk about the outcome from failure? Might just be the language. So be willing to post this a couple of times and get feedback from your audience. So before we get into the action steps, let me take y'all to our next thing, which you all should have got this via email, which is our ideal customer avatar. And this is actually going to be your homework for today. So your ideal customer avatar worksheet, you all should have got this, but what I'll do, if you're here live, I'm gonna share it within the chat. I did a version of this post and asked what did everyone need help to create in the first side hustle and got great feedback. Can't wait to drop this question. Good, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. I'm glad it's working out with your audience. So this is our ideal customer avatar sheet. You're gonna complete this y'all for before our next section. And this really gives you information. What the reason you need to complete this is that this is going to give you more information to think about with your audience so that you have something to go back to, especially when we're creating our promotional aspect, asset, our promotional assets for the workshop. So part one is all about basic demographics, right? So thinking about your ideal client, what is their gender? What's their age? Where, where are they located? What's their occupation, income level, educational level? All this is important because when you're putting together your marketing materials, you'll be able to speak directly to your audience by knowing this. What is their digital behavior? Where do they spend their time online? Are they on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Facebook, TikTok, YouTube? Are they on professional forums or they're somewhere else? What type of content do they consume? This is another great question to ask yourself. What type of content are they exactly consuming? And then I want you to think about the goals and aspirations of your ideal customer. What are their goals? Why are they looking for you? Are they looking up how to deal with students' failure? Are they looking up how to help how to help students not fail as much? Are they looking up side hustles I can do with my degree? What are their professional goals? Do they want a side hustle so they can get financially free? Do they want a side hustle so that they can send their kids to college? Do they want a side hustle so they can buy a new car? What are their goals and aspirations? And what does success look like for them? What are some of the pains and challenges that they may be going to? What are their frustrations? Have they tried side gigs before and perhaps they didn't work out or they spent a lot of money on them and they didn't work out? Have they tried to have conversations with their students or their teachers or other people about failure and that hasn't went well? Uh, when I think about it for myself, y'all, like I primarily work with um, LGBT folks, but also women of color, black women, folks of different abilities. Um, most of my folks have a disposable income. My successful clients don't just rely on one stream of income. They probably have a job or a contract. Um, they spend a lot of time on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. That's where I found a lot of my clients, LinkedIn as well. Um, they consume online courses and video content. That's how they find me. And they aspire to be financially free so that they don't have to work as hard. Right. So you need to know this about your audience, you know, and ask you what keeps them awake. What solutions have they already tried? Part five is all about decision making factors. Right. What will make them invest in a workshop? What might prevent them from buying? If you already can think of the objectives objections, then you can already come up with that. This section right here, y'all, what might prevent them from buying is really great because these are the things that we can use in our frequently asked questions section on our sales page or on our checkout page. We can have a section that says, hey, um, this is the price, but what Kajabi has, y'all, which is really cool, is called Kajabi Payments. 
So people can pay through Klarna or Afterpay, and you could put that on your frequently asked questions. So if the price is throwing them off, they know they have other pricing op options. You could have time commitment, like, hey, it's only going to be 90 minutes and you get access to this lifetime, right? If you know the objections, you can handle them before they come. And then part six is value proposition. What does the ideal customer need help with, right? How can you help them? Part seven is all about the customer's voice. What, what words do they use? What phrases do they use? And I love this part, y'all, part six, because truly what you should be thinking to yourself, you already probably have people in your audience or in your life that you know you will want to be your ideal customer. You could start going to their social media or to their platforms or even get on a call with them and listen to their voice. Write down the quotes that they use to describe their challenges. Really get into the nitty gritty. And then workshop relevance, like how is it relevant for them? And then you have some call to actions at the end of this. Based on the IC analyst, list three insights that will influence your workshop. Once you've done this, you'll probably not only know how to come up with a workshop, you'll know how to come up with probably three to four workshop ideas that will really impact your audience. So I wanted to give this to you as a gift and as some homework for us to get done because I think that it's just so important. Every time we have a workshop for the next four weeks, you will walk away with some type of worksheet or template that you can take with you. Because I understand that the learners that I work with need to get into implementation. We can't just be sitting up here like it's an idea. We actually need to get into the work. So you will get this every time we work together. So the, today's workshop, uh, we're focusing on offer creation pricing. So for you, I want you to complete this ICA worksheet. And um, once it's done, I want you to be willing to not share it with me because we won't have a community space, but what I want you to do is share it with someone in your life or in your business. So let's get into um, closing our space for today and talk a little bit more about action steps and I'll see if there's anything in the chat. All right, I don't see anything yet. So let's talk a little bit about next steps. So from today's workshop, right, we talked a little bit today. We talked about Kajabi foundations and offer creation, right? So you understand how Kajabi works, not how it works, how to press buttons, but what are all the aspects of Kajabi that you can utilize so that you can make an informed decision on whether this is a product you want to use for your masterclass, which I'm suggesting that you do because I love it, but also because you'll be able to continue this four week workshop series. We talked about offer creation, how to come up with your idea, making sure that you validate it with your audience, and then using the ICA to get more clarity about your ideal customer avatar. Next week, which is the 8th, we're going to build out our workshop funnel in Kajabi so that we can get it to the marketplace. Action steps from this week. First, I want you to sign up and set up your Kajabi dashboard. It's important that what you sign up for Kajabi, you go through and answer all the questions. They're going to ask you what email to attach. You'll have an opportunity to set up Kajabi payments, which is very important so that you can give your customers an accessible pricing um, products. They can use Afterpay, PayPal, Klarna once you sign up for Kajabi payments. Then you're going to generate your workshop topics and ideas and make sure that they align with your audience's needs by completing the ICA worksheet and also by putting out a really strong validation post and getting feedback on that. And then the final step is you're gonna define your ideal customer with the ICA to guide your workshop development. As you're putting together the template for your workshop, the outline, you'll be going back to your ICA often. So it's important that you complete this step. Even when we start talking about promoting the actual workshop, you'll need your ICA. So make sure you get the ICA worksheet done and complete it before our session next week. So this wraps up our time together, y'all, but I do want to share with you one more time, just in case you all are, are thinking about it. Kajabi does have an amazing deal this week for you to get 50% off. Um, if you missed the code, because I shared the code earlier, I'll bring it back up for you. You're just going to go to speakingforprofit.com slash 
Kajabi best deal and you'll sign up for the deal that works for you. The lower tier deal is $34 like we talked about. However, if you know that, you know what, Bob, I'm going to create this masterclass and then I'm probably going to want to create a ebook or I might want to do a podcast. I would suggest at least getting the plan above that because with the $34 plan, I believe that you'll only be able to get started with one actual product. If you want multiple products, you'll need to sign up for more. Um, and I'll show that to you really quick before I go. If you go to the link that you see there and you go over to pricing right now, right? If this is if you did it annually, if you did it annually, you could do the Kickstarter plan at $27, but that gives you one product. If you decided, oh, you know what? I know I'm going to want at least three products. I would suggest doing the basic plan. And if you know that, hey, I'm probably going to want to create a few things here on Kajabi out of those products, then go for the growth. You should not need the pro, but the majority of you probably will need the basic or the growth in order to expand your business. These are amazing prices, y'all. This does not happen often. And Kajabi has never done any type of promotion like this. If you do it monthly, that's when we were talking about the $34 a month or $74 or $99. So it's up to you. But in order for you to continue with us for the next three to four weeks, you will need to um, sign up for that. And you can use the link below in order to get access to it. Next week, we'll create our funnel, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, that's going to be a great opportunity for us to come together. Um, and let me make sure, I don't even think I was sharing that screen with y'all this whole time we were talking through it. So here's the screen so y'all can see it. So that's what I was talking about. Kickstarter plan, plan is 34. And that includes opportunities to do one product. Basic, you can have three products. The growth, you can have up to 15. I'm currently under the growth because I create a whole lot of products and services for my clients. So you can decide this is the monthly rate. Or you can sign up annually, which is what I was talking about, but not sharing my screen because <laughs> we're all a work in progress. And then it'll be $27.59 or $79. But when you do annually, you pay for the whole year. Monthly, of course, this is a monthly price. So you can kind of decide which one works best for you. Remember, in order to keep going with us for the next four weeks, you will need to sign up for that. And if you do sign up for it and you don't get an invite, to um, the workshop accelerator, like you don't get that email once you sign up, make sure that you screenshot your receipt, send it to info at speakingforprofit.com and I will add you in manually on the back end. Just make sure that you do that. Okay, great. So that is all for today. And we're just gonna close out with a gentle affirmation three times. I make money with ease. I make money with ease. I make money with ease. Ashe, thank you all for being here. I really appreciate your time and your excellence. And I'm excited to continue to support you the next four weeks in building out your paid workshop. Until next week, have a great one, y'all. Remember to get all of that information done. And I'll see you at the next training. Peace.